What's up everyone, my name is Yusrat from Yusrat Visuals and in this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm gonna show you how to color grade like in Hollywood movies. In other words, how to color grade um, a very cinematic shot. Like, how to, in other words, what I mean actually is how to make your videos or your films or your movies, whatever you wanna call it, look so amazing or look the same as Hollywood films. Audio Jungle Audio Jungle So today we are going to use um, an image here, a flat image, no so much contrast, no so much um, saturation, nothing like that, just a raw flat image. So we're going to take this one as, a, as an example. So the first thing that you want to do is go to new, create adjustment layer, which is that one. Then um, place your adjustment layer on top of your image or video. The second thing is go to effects, search for three ways, color corrector, there you have it. Um, place it on adjustment layer. Then we, here we are having uh, the first three wheels, the first wheel for shadows, the second one for midtones, the third one for highlights. So what you're gonna do is boost every wheel here. Just boost it, boost it. The first one gonna make blue, second one maybe green, third one maybe purple. So here our image is, is looking really, really bad. What we need to do is go to this tunnel range definition what, you, what you're going to need to do is pull that kind of triangular stuff there, um, pull it backwards, backwards, just backwards. As you can see guys there, um, our image is a little bit changing. So what you're going to need to do is place that thing right there, go to the other one, go there, there. Just as you can see there, our image now looks much, much better. But this one is not what we want. We want our footage to look like in Hollywood films. So what you're gonna need to do is just um, reset every wheel here so that we just we will just go back with our stuff there. What you need to do is add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of contrast, not too much. Uh, it depends on your video or on your footage whether it has so much contrast it just depends on it so we're going to add some little bit of another um here the output level so what you need to do is add some little bit of it um yeah now it looks so great so what you need to do is go back to our wheel here go then like that as you can see there our image the first wheel we are going, we are, we are, we want our shadows to be blue. So what you're gonna do to do is go for blue. The second one we will go for orange or green if you like. The third one we're going for yellow. Or this one will just go for for what? For some kind of uh, orange. So our image looks some kind of gray right now. Let me just adjust this blue a little bit. Maybe there. Our image now looks a lot, a lot, a lot better than this one. This one is flat, a little bit of blues there. Uh, the image is not really, we are not really yet done. What we need to do is just boost your saturation, your master saturation. As you can see there, our, our image looks a lot, a lot better than this regular one. As you can see there, our image looks a lot, a lot better. You can play with this wheel. I think I'm gonna just place it there. And we're gonna add a little bit of this kind of mid-tones. Mid-tones are actually how your, the ski, the color of your skin. Basically, I always go for this kind of yellow stuff there. And so far, this is what we have done. This is a great improvement. We got some details on his face, on his hair. And we gotta mess up some kind of stuff here, maybe contrast, a little bit of contrast, and a little bit of um, that kind of thing. 
and the saturation must be like boosted you know um the green maybe i should just take it somewhere here um i think the blues the blues are going to actually fade everything out so i will just make it somewhere there that is guys i think this thing is like a great improvement from the first video from the first um flat image we got some details on his t-shirt some details on the skin tones some details in the blacks and some details in everywhere this is a great improvement guys i think you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching guys and bes before you leave what you if you want to save this thing as a preset so that you don't color grade every time here and there what you need to do is go to video effects um select all then just save as a preset so you can name it wherever you want i already made uh i i have already made a, a hollywood color correction there let me just switch that um, adjustment layer and take my Hollywood color correction and boom, there you have it. All is done. And by the way, if you want to add some kind of black bars into your videos, what you need to do is, yep, I think you got it. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope I see you next week. Please subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want. Please just give me a sub and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.